At Bishop's Holt, we uh, have a, a raft of things that we do to look after people's well-being, and, and the, the most important thing that I can do as a head teacher to make sure that people have a great well-being is to ensure that their classrooms uh, are well-ordered and the kids behave and kids want to learn. And we do that through ensuring that all staff uh, feel supported in dealing with students. That's the first point. Staff want to come to school with kids that want to learn. So that's the first thing we do. Beyond that, you know, we don't ask staff to mark books. You know, we don't do marking. We, we mark just assessments um, at the end of each big term. Um, we have smaller, initi smaller initiatives, so if you do a lunchtime duty, you get to leave early, one afternoon a week. So during the dark months of um, December, you can drive home in the light, which is a quite a nice thing, or go to the gym in the morning. Bishop Salt's a unique place to, to train as a teacher um, for a few reasons. I think firstly is that you are 100% supported with the behaviour and the culture of the kids in your class. The systems that we have mean that you're never having to follow up with detentions, never having to follow up with homework, never having to follow up with things because that will be done by the central team. Now, once that kind of thing is taken away from you, you're able just to fully focus on your own pedagogy and your own teacher development. And it's unique from that perspective in that you know everyone will have a, a coach or a mentor that can take you through the process. We've got very, very clear standards that we train people to meet to ensure that there's that cohesion and that commonality across all students and teachers in the school. And then from there, it's about we're very quick and very responsive to working out what is what staff are very good at and what are the areas where they could need more support and development. And then we ensure that we've got a really clear program of, of, of support for those members of staff. And it's just, it, it, the outcome of that is that I've got so many younger members of staff that have only been teaching a few years who are all in positions of responsibility or heads of year or heads of department. Um, because you know it's important that we, we, we promote people who are not just, that are ready for the job, not just because they've been longest in the job. I love that our students come from all walks of life. I love that no matter who they are, they get along with everyone. I love our students because they aspire to change the world. I, I, I love this school because of the history and tradition within these, these walls and, you know, serving Uxbridge and West London for 118 years. I love that our students love to learn. I love that our students turn up every day with their homework done and keen to, to do better. I love that our students are kind. I love that our students will, will help each other, that they'll play basketball with each other, that they'll coach the younger kids, that they'll mentor the younger kids. I love that our students care. Care about themselves, care about their community, and care about the world. And um, that's why I love the students in this ambitious song. When I'm looking at a, a trainee teacher or recruiting a trainee teacher, the first thing I want to see and want to hear and want to feel is that this is about children, that this is a vocation, this is something that they have a real passion to, to do. Teaching is a great, great job, highly rewarding, but it can also be at, at times when it, when it can be hard and that, that overall desire to improve children's lives that, that has to be at the forefront, that has to be palpable. Um, the second thing I look at is, you know, that their willingness to learn. Um, I think, you know, as long as people want to be better each day, a little bit better each day, I think that, that that's what I want to see and we, can, we know that we can work together. Um, you know, whether it's, whether it's pedagogical, whether it's curriculum based, whether it's whatever the learning is, we've all got something to learn and, um, you know, there's no point where we should stop learning as a teacher. So they're the kind of two things, the, 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 the real passion for education for our young people and secondly a real desire and willingness to want to be better and to learn.